Yeah, it smells like poop out here. That's fun. So this house we have affectionately started calling the poopy band-aid house because uh, it looks like a band-aid. And it smells like poop. I'll show you what we got going on. All right, so we knew this uh, we knew this place had some septic issues when we bought it. So this is our septic tank, which actually goes underneath the deck. Um, the deck was actually built over top of it, which is another fun story for another day. But I basically had to disassemble this deck so we get it pumped when we first when we first bought the place. So inside of the uh, pump side of this tank, our pump is not working. So we've had some issues with this thing for a while, and I think it just finally fried the pump. But it hasn't been pumping properly, and I mean, you can actually see if you look at the driveway. Every once in a while when it would rain, we'd get like a septic smell and stuff. And it was like overflowing and running down and making that part of the lawn nice and green there. So finally figured out that's what's going on. We were hoping this thing would last until we hopefully build, but that has not happened. So uh, today I get to get my hands dirty. I'll wear some gloves, but uh, I gotta get this thing fixed today. All right, hopefully we got everything we needed. It was a late trip to the hardware store. Um, I was draining out some of the septic tank so I could see what I'm working with. Go ahead and finish that off, get it finished drained, and see about putting this other stuff in here. Hopefully I have everything I need. All right, so I got an old junky garden hose that we're never gonna use again, <laughs> stuck down in there. And we'll go get this thing siphoning. All right, down at the other end of the hose. You guys all know how a siphon works, right? Oh, just kidding. <laughs> I'm not fishing you out if you fall in. Yeah, there. All right, well, if you're squeamish, this might not be the video for you. So I was actually here when the guys came to pump this thing out. And uh, according to them, that valve that's uh, sitting down there is like not fully opening and closing. So um, could be doing a couple things. Could be making that pump work harder to try and push the effluent through. That valve is like had a, had a rough life. It's like half um, corroded away and everything. So I'm gonna see if I can get this thing off. I'm hopeful that I can. Odds are when I open that thing, um, any pressure that's in that line going up to the um, sand filter up on the hill, is probably gonna come right back at me, so. Um, there may not be a ton of filming in this video. We'll see, it depends on how long. I've been uh, pretty clean thus far, uh, but we'll see how this video goes. So I broke out the tail end of the valve stem that was still there for, for shutting off this valve. It's all corroded away, so it obviously doesn't work. I don't know if it's stuck open or stuck closed. It is draining a little bit. Um, I do have the pump separated, so I go ahead and pull that out now. And uh, then I gotta work on getting that valve out of there. That little guy is very plugged. The ball's all. Uh, come apart inside of it. Looks like it was about ready to start leaking from the edges too. So we'll get that replaced and uh, <clears throat> with a, we'll get this replaced with something better and we'll see if we can get this thing put back together. And that's what a poop pump looks like. <laughs> So this little guy sits in the bottom, shoots it up and out and into your drain, well, into your sand filter. So a lot of septic systems are gravity fed, which is awesome. Unfortunately, in the area that we live, uh, you pretty much have to have a sand filter because we have a lot of clay in our soil. It's all liquid in this half of the tank, so that's all broken down in the other half of the tank. And by the time it gets over here, uh, it's just liquid. So um, this little guy just uh, sits in the bottom of that thing like a little sump pump. and. Shoots it up to the sand filter on the hill, and then there's a drain field that runs back this way. On the other end of this thing, there's a little ball valve. And so when this thing comes up, 
supposed to kick on your pump. This thing's plugged in, ain't even trying to turn on. So uh, I know I burned it up, um, but I got a pump that I picked up yesterday in the truck. So we're gonna go get that thing and get everything swapped out. All right, well, looking at these two little guys side by side, uh, looks like maybe the old one's a half horsepower. The one I picked up is a three quarter horsepower and it has a little more uh, power to pump up and through the filter up the hill there. So honestly, I didn't even look at what was in there because it was full of uh, full of fluid last night. I just started draining it. And, um, I got the, the biggest thing I could find that was still plug into a 110. So uh, that's what powered the old one. That's what we're going back with is 110, but we have the uh, a larger pump. So uh, maybe we'll have less issues. Of course, it probably would help too if there wasn't a giant restriction in the line also. All right, moment of truth. We got it back down in the hole there with the new standpipe on there. I'm gonna plug this thing in real quick and if it comes on, it should be working. Forgot to put a float on there and then uh, we need to fill that tub up as well with water. All right, I got all this fun stuff because I uh, wasn't sure what I was gonna run into and of course the piece I need I don't have in here, I can't make work, so. <laughs> Back to the hardware where store we go. I'll return most of this. The good news is I just need, uh, I think, a simple ball valve to make this thing go back together. Because when the septic guys were draining it, they said they couldn't get it apart uh, to look at it. So they thought they were going to have to dig out in front of the tank and a whole bunch of stuff to replace that. But it uh, looks like it came through for me. So I'll, uh, I'll take that and uh, go return a bunch of this stuff. Get a simple ball valve and get an extra 50, 100 bucks back for this stuff. And it's hailing again, hailing or snowing. We are almost out of that time of year. All right, I'm pretty sure we have enough water in this thing to test it now. Let's uh, see if it'll fire up. All right, so the float might not be active. Let's try it with uh, manual here. Oh yeah, Woo. okay. The news is pump works very, very well. Okay, <laughs> we'll keep filling it up and then we'll test the float on it. Well, at least I'm not out here by myself today. It looks like the flock of turkeys came by to say hi. All right, we got it back together. It's pumping, I'm gonna see if it shuts off. Um, it's under pressure and uh, the float works, everything works on it. So um, a small little drip at the union, but that's even under pressure. So I think, I think we're good. I think we're good on this. It's draining that tank very, very quickly. So it's definitely pushing some, uh, some uh, water through that. So yeah, that's draining a lot of water really quick. So that's good. That's a really good thing. Yay. <laughs> Man, I am glad to have that done. Whew. The septic company had quoted us like three to five thousand dollars to change out that valve. They thought they were going to dig it out, which they didn't, which I didn't. I got it out loose, but uh, put a new pump in there. And uh, I think it was somewhere in the neighborhood of three to five thousand dollars. And uh, I got it done for four fifty today, four hundred fifty dollars. So not the most fun job I've ever done, uh, obviously, but uh, glad to have a little peace of mind having that done. And uh, and now the poopy Band-Aid house is back to being just the Band-Aid house. So uh, no more smell. Thankfully, that is done. And uh, don't have to worry about that for a long time to come. All right, thanks for joining us today. Hope you guys have a great one. And we'll catch you on whatever we're doing next. Bye.